they hand in, I hear one get into the passenger side, and I don't know which of the three is in the car. He doesn't say anything, and I'm just sitting there, and I, I try to talk to him. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Shut up. He just kept saying, shut up, shut up. So I would be quiet. <laughs> He uncuffs me from the steering wheel, and he puts a handcuff on him. Can you take the blindfold off? No, you can't see me. Take the handcuffs off. Look, I'm in charge. When I asked if he could uncuff me, he seemed to get angry. You can't tell me what to do. So I knew this must not be the guy that said don't kill her now, and I knew it wasn't the ringleader. He must be the middleman. This is my show, not yours. You can't tell me what to do. I'm in charge. <laughs> Let me show you. All of a sudden, he just forces me out of the car and just threw me on the ground. And he just started hitting me in the head. And I'm hurting physically now. And in my mind, I'm just so scared. Who's in control? So it's mental and physical. I'm thinking, please just wake up from this nightmare. And he just started taking my clothes off. I had never had sexual encounters. I feel like he's just wanting me to know he's in control. I'm not in control, you know, I'm nothing. And I'm just thinking, okay, I can't say anything. It sets him off. This one, I just know not to say anything. <laughs> 